Marvel's come out and said they're not moving on from Kang the Conqueror as the big bad for the MCU. That means they're going to be recasting Jonathan Majors. Now you might ask yourself, wait, didn't they show the entire Council of Kings all played by Jonathan Majors? Why yes, yes they did. But how can they fix that? Let's talk about it. Obviously in the post credit scene of Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania, they showed the entire Council of Kings and Ant-Man even fought a variant himself. They're all played by Jonathan Majors. I had the problem whenever I first watched it and I made a video about it in my review, I talked about this. Why would they have him play every single variant? What if something happens? And well, something did happen and now they're gonna have to recast him. However, the Council of Kings, all played by Jonathan Majors, provides a very unique opportunity for Marvel to introduce the true Kang the Conqueror. Here's what I think they should do. One of my biggest complaints with Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania, was that Ant-Man survived. Not only did they beat him with a bunch of ants, but he survived. I don't think he should have survived. If they want to establish Kang the Conqueror, especially that variant being the most powerful, he needs to be powerful and actually kill one of the main Avengers, kind of giving alarm to the rest of the world. This is the reason that I would love for Doctor Strange to be the person that Kang the Conqueror kills. I know... He's a very great character, but what better way to first of all set up Tom Holland's Spider-Man to be the leader of the MCU in the face of the MCU as Spider-Man should be, and also give a gigantic alarm and show how menacing and powerful Kang the Conqueror is if he kills Doctor Strange, one of the most powerful Avengers. I mean, just picture this scene. Imagine Doctor Strange and someone like America Chavez, someone he took under his wing, has a lot to do with the multiverse, obviously very powerful. Imagine they find the Council of Kings, but the Council of Kings is brutally murdered. Every one of them dead. Gigantic battle had taken place, and they did not see it. But in the middle of them, they see one survivor. The King the Conqueror. The most powerful one. And he just kind of turns to them and says something like, All these variants of myself, I allowed them to thrive and control the multiverse while I did what I needed to do. And now, I've finally completed all the tasks laid before me. And I'm ready to take my place on the throne of the multiverse. And then a big fight scene, you know, obviously, boom, 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 boom. Uh, and then uh, Doctor Strange dies. And then America Chavez barely escapes with her life to go warn all the other heroes of Earth. I think that would be a fantastic way to fix Kang the Conqueror, make him actually menacing, actually powerful, and actually a threat to the multiverse that they've been trying to make him and they've failed miserably at. There have been rumors that the main variant of Kang that's gonna be the big bad is gonna be like a version of the Beyonder. But what if the Beyonder is the one that gave Kang the promise of the throne of the multiverse and set forth all these challenges? So not only do they actually get Kang, who's gonna be very menacing and you know powerful and ruler of the multiverse or whatever, but they also set up the Beyonder for the future. I think, I think this is a very good scenario that we could possibly see. I don't think they'll do it, obviously, because I don't work at Marvel. But hey, who knows? I think there are a couple different ways that you could really fix King the Conqueror, and make him menacing and powerful and a threat to the multiverse. But this is just one way that I thought of. And obviously, I didn't put a whole lot of thought into like what he would exactly say. I'm not, I'm not writing the movie, okay? I just think that after the death of Iron Man, Marvel has been very afraid to kill off our heroes, our main characters, and I think Doctor Strange is someone who's been around long enough and is powerful enough to actually set up a main villain like that and also thrust other people into more leadership roles like Spider-Man. I think one thing that people are calling superhero fatigue is honestly just a fear on Marvel's side of the house that we would stop watching if our favorite hero died. I don't really think that's the case. Spider-Man is my favorite hero in the MCU at the moment, and if he died, I would probably still watch the MCU as long as it was actually a very good death and set up a very big villain.
So I think Marvel playing it really safe is playing into a lot of the superhero fatigue. And I really hope they remedy that. And I think they can with a major death. I mean, who knows? They could even kill Nick Fury off. Really, I mean, this guy's been around for like 20 years at this point, and they could definitely kill him off because maybe he's looking for Monica Rambo across the multiverse. Motherfucker. And he finds the Council of Kings, and there he is. Boom, kills him. Like, it doesn't have to be Doctor Strange or like whoever I say. It can literally be anybody. You just have to have it make sense. That's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you subscribe, drop a like, and let me know in the comments how you think they can fix Kang and also who should play Kang now that Jonathan Majors is out. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm really excited to see, though. I hope they fix it with everything being pushed back after the strike. It gives me a little bit of hope, and maybe they're actually going to take their time now that they're going to have some real competition with DC under James Gunn. I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Marvel has come out and said they are not moving on to another villain like Doctor Doom or literally. Marvel has come out and said they are not moving on from King the Conqueror. He is still going to be the main villain for the Avengers moving forward, at least for this phase or this part of Marvel like Thanos was. And then afterwards, they'll move on to something else. Such a bad intro. <laughs> Marvel has come out and said they are not moving on from King the Conqueror as the big bad for the MCU. What do I say after? Marvel has come out and said they are not moving on from Kang the Conqueror as the big bad from the MCU. From? 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 Marvel has come out and said they are not moving on from Kang the Conqueror within the MCU. Marvel has come out and said they are not moving on from Kang the Conqueror in the MCU as the big bad. What do I say? I am really struggling. Marvel is moving on from... They're not moving on. They're not. They're not. This whole video, they're not moving on. <laughs> Obviously, in the post credit scene of Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania, they showed the entire Council of the Kings. Kings, 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 and Kings. King. I would fix... Count... <laughs> However, now one of my biggest... <laughs> Oh my gosh. Now, one of my biggest complaints with Ant-Man the Wasp... Quant <laughs>